tonight is an exciting moment tonight and hopefully all all of you will uh, be want, uh, be happy to be there and cook with us uh, tonight we have like a broccoli cheese soup okay broccoli cheese soup it's uh it's very comforting it's very um just great <laughs> all i can say is i have had the broccoli cheese soup very similar to what he's cooking tonight and i want to tell you it's one of our family favorites it is yeah. awesome you're gonna love it this is gonna be one of your top five uh so enjoy it take it in learn from it and uh, use it at home so, okay Emily. um let's do quickly okay so we have carrots we have onions, so we're going to peel these onions. Um, so make sure you peel your onions first. Uh, this is like a, a large onion, so you need only one. Okay, so you need only one. So you, after this, you okay, go ahead, peel it. And uh, I'm going to take about three, uh, three uh, carrots. It's about 16 ounces, uh, seven ounces, sorry, of carrots. Seven ounces of carrot. The reason why I like to wait a minute the soup, everything, because to make it every time, um, the same flavor for the soup, you know, the same consistency. So it's like if I say I have three potatoes, uh -huh. you can have three big potatoes and what will happen? It's like the soup will be like, okay, today was <laughs> was very starchy and to yesterday was not. So the different yeah, different yeah. sizes. So yeah, okay. I'll be like, <laughs> like 14 ounces. So we wait for 14 ounces. So this is 14 ounces there. So you can already uh, cut it in two. Okay. So I'll go, in, go ahead and cut this one for you into uh, uh, in so three or four. So you just like yes. in half yes. lengthways? Or yeah, just matter? just as small. Um, you do just quarters just like that. You oh. just quarter it just like that. Okay? Just okay. Like perfect. All right. Just like this. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> and then we have some boiling water already. So uh, uh, it's about four cups of water. And it will take about 40, maybe less, until it's cooked properly, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and the onions, go ahead, cut it into half again. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. So, uh, let's go ahead and put it into the water there. So, it will take about 40 minutes, uh, maybe 30 minutes. We have some already pre-cooked, so don't worry, we'll stay waiting for this to cook for 40 minutes and what, what, we don't know what we'll be doing in 40 <laughs> minutes waiting. Okay, so go ahead, put everything in and we're going to finish everything. We're going to wash the broccoli okay. and while they're doing it and, and probably some chop, some rosemary, something like that, okay? Hi. <laughs> so so uh, while we, you were listening to these things, uh, uh, this, this lecture, <coughs> we have uh, put into uh, our pot, if you can see here, we don't have a cover, so if you don't have a cover like us, we just use a pot to cover these things there, and it works. It works all the time. So, nothing fancy, but uh, can you see this? I'll bring it close to you. Hopefully, then fall on the floor. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. And so, we have the onions, um, our carrots, and potatoes, and you want to, to uh, make sure that it's tender before you use it, okay? So, so Emily, that reminds me, actually... Uh, my mom, if when I, I went to school, uh, because I used to go, I, my school was in France. So, mm -hmm. I couldn't school in France. So, um, it, once a year or twice a year, I would come home, and the first thing she would make for me is a uh, vegetable soup. Oh, uh, it was just <laughs> like the best in the world. Yeah. It was so comforting, everything. Soup is my favorite comfort food. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and I, one day I wish we'd demonstrate uh, how to make this vegetable soup that my mom used to do for me. And I, I assure you, you will love it. You will love it, love it. <laughs> okay, so, awesome. so now, uh, Emily uh, went ahead and she, she cut uh, those broccoli. So this we're going to use for blanching. Blanching is, uh, uh, blanching is not cooking, it's just... Uh, uh, we're going to dip it for 40 seconds into the uh, hot boiling water and then you'll be ready for the, the soup. But we'll wait for this first, okay? So, uh, in the meantime, while this is boiling and everything, let's go and uh, cut two, two, uh, two onions, uh, two uh, garlic. Okay. So, How do you uh, okay, what, when it's like this, it? okay. yes, when it's <laughs> like this, you can just, oh, you can just use your hand. A lot of noise, but noise about the kitchen, everybody. <laughs> yeah, noise about the kitchen. Okay, All so right. you can take two there like this. And, uh, yes. And go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Good for my I'll so help you for this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's take all the stress away. <laughs> right. <laughs> How was your day? You have a good day? <laughs> yes. Good. Yes, good. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. How's everybody out there? Are you, are you cooking with us? I hope everything is running well for you. Uh, you put your potatoes in. And your, and your onions and uh, also your carrots. 
So after, after we finish the chaos, because we started already uh, pre-cooked few things here, I'll show you already. This is the pre-cooked uh, veggies that we have. The onion is well tendered. If you can see, I can touch it like this. It's well tendered and the carrots and the potatoes also, okay? So now we're going to put it into the blender and, uh, and use about two cups of water and we'll see what happens, okay? So this is ready and Emily what she's doing right now is to pre uh, preparing the garlic that will go into the, the velouté. Velouté is a blend of cream. It's like a cream with, with, a, 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 cream with um, a mixture, okay? So okay. you call a velouté. Velouté is a smooth. Sounds like uh, velvet. Yeah, velvet. Yeah. Very smooth and everything but you have to be have a cream in it. So okay. the cashew will be our cream, okay? Our okay, cashew, awesome. our cream. And if those who are allergic to nuts, you can use coconut milk. It's fine. Coconut milk is it be okay, and actually give a lot of texture and and uh, it be excited actually with the coconut milk. I think it be as better than the cashews also. So okay. <laughs> okay. So we put two clover garlic. If you want more clover garlic, more garlic, you may. Um, let's put it. Well, let's put it in the corner there in the oh. meantime. Okay. 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 So go ahead and put everything to the blender. Um, let me, let's go to, uh, okay, so only the veggies, okay, Emily, only the veggies. So we're going, um, friends, so we're going to bring everything to, uh, the blender, our blender is over there. Go ahead okay. and take it with you. Okay. It you me just dump yes. The whole thing? Uh, all, all the veggies, yes. Put all, all the, the veggies in, okay? Okay, so we're going to leave the water in the pot? Yeah. Uh, we're going to take two cups of water, uh, with this, okay? I'm going to measure it for, for your sake, okay, guys? Okay. For your sake, I'm going to measure it with you. But you don't have to measure it, you know, it's, it's better we measure it today. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> okay. The yes. <laughs> okay, so she's uh, putting all the veggies into this, uh, the carrots and the celery and the onion. This is so healthy and yes, so tasty. Uh, I, I can't wait for you to try it, Emily. Uh, it's, it's really great. Okay, now, let you want me to help you? Okay, let well, me. Yeah. I, I'll hold this, okay. Uh, you hold this and you put you do yourself okay <laughs> yes <laughs> yes two cups and if it's not enough if too much water have been evaporated while you are cooking your thing you can ju just put some okay I yeah mean, it's, it's, it's fine yeah okay. it's short yeah but it's fine okay. we can always put as as much okay go ahead oh thank you we're going to add some noise now in the kitchen but uh that's 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 the way it is okay yes yes Go ahead, you can. How much? Okay, first you want to make sure that it's on low first and go ahead. Okay, okay so go ahead on high. <coughs> yes, all the way. So now, as you see, Emily, she's bending everything until it's very smooth, you see? You see that's very, con the consistency is very creamy, oh, it's fine, you can, yeah, yeah. okay, let's <laughs> see inside, beautiful, you want it a little bit more, there is some pieces around there, okay, blend it longer, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, that's fine. That's fine enough. Okay, so now what you can do, let's bring it together into this part here. Okay, let's bring it there so you can see. Okay, so I hope you are on the same page with us. Um, maybe your vegetable was not cooked uh, quite yet, um, but you can follow the principle there, okay? So uh, those who already cooked their veg veggies in advance when you read the recipe, so this is the steps there. And uh, you see how creamy and beautiful? Look at, look at this. This is incredible. This is look like a cheese already, isn't it? Like a cheese soup. Um, so we're missing the cashew, and we're going, to make a, we're going to put a little bit of water with the cashew. You don't want to put too much water, Emily, when you cook the cashew. Uh, because uh, when you blend the cashew, the reason why, what will happen? It will, it will not be, be very smooth, okay? So a little bit of water first, okay? Yeah. So we're going to measure. Um, oh, you could have left. You could have left this. Yes. I was just thinking. Yes. Kind of <laughs> it'd be more flavor to it. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So um, let's take a, a little bit. 
let's take some <laughs> cups here. Uh, okay, okay, a little bit of water here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, put a half a cup of cashew. All right. You can use that is one. This a I've been a is this a half? Yes. Yeah. Something I hope so, but it's okay. It you can like put a little right? bit more than half if you want. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just a handful, but now seriously, follow this recipe just like it is, and it's good. I just love cashew. That's why. Okay. I mean, love cashew. Okay. We'll go ahead and blend it again. Okay. Yes. I, I hope it is, yeah. this blender is kind of loud, so I hope it will work, Emily. And, uh, yeah, yeah it, because it's, it's so loud, it's on now, so I hopefully it blends well. Okay, let's see. Let's try it. Okay, okay. go ahead. Okay. You have to put more water in? Yeah, I mean. As I put water, I'm going to put more of this cream inside of it. Okay? Let me That's put some cool. more of that. Yeah, I should have left yeah. other stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's blend it again. <coughs> hey, do you have fun with us? Because we have a lot of fun here, and I hope you, uh, you are, are you able to cook also. I hope that you have a good experience so far with blending the cashew. And uh, how is it? Yeah, go ahead. Go on high. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> the reason why because it's a small quantity of cashew for a big blender like this so you will see the difficulty is that okay okay I'm gonna take it. okay there is some pieces in it i'm not very satisfied about this but okay let's uh Can we scrape this yeah let's scrape it up there is, i think there is a spatula over there uh, I mean, yeah there is yeah, it's supposed to be very creamy and nice and everything. Uh, you, if you have a small blender, it probably is the best, but I, this is what I have right now. <laughs> so <laughs> let's do it again. We it? Yeah. Okay, we get it. Okay. okay. I didn't know cashew would take so much time to blend, huh? but... Uh, Yeah, good. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, almost, almost ready. This cashew. Why don't you want to blend? <laughs> <laughs> it's because this is okay. It's uh, big. Let's. It's big. Hey, I'm going to change it here, Emily. I'm going to do something drastic. Okay, I'm going to change this. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have fun and be. You uh, have a good laugh about this one. Today is this is the laugh of the blender. You know, it's everything happened in this kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I g we're going to transfer this blender. Make a lot of no more noise, actually. Okay, but it's it's fine. It's smaller, so it should it should blend better. Okay, go ahead. Let me put a little bit of water there. Let's take all these nice goodies things. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. You see, this is what here, okay? <laughs> Have mercy with this noise. Okay, now this is what we wanted. This is the creaminess of the cashew and it's ready to be used, okay? This is what we want. So, Emily, so what we do next? What do you think? We're going to put the cashew into uh, this soup there, okay? Okay, use you can use this. No, here. thank okay? you. Yes. Just for curiosity, I want to check. Oh, this is ready to be used already. This this chaos is almost cooked. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so we're going to use a whisk just to make sure everything well combined. And when you put the cashew into your soup, you want to make and you put it on the stove. You want to make sure that you stir it. Uh, from time to time, often because cashew have tendencies to burn, okay, fast. So, okay, because it's a nut, so you're going to burn fast. So, we're going to. <laughs> no, we're not going to burn anything today. <laughs> uh, we're going to be uh, safe today, okay. So, now go ahead and put, uh, mix it well. Kay. 
and let's put the garlic garlic is optional if you don't want garlic it's okay um but yet i think it brings a, a nice flavor to it okay and we're going to put a, about a, a quarter of a teaspoon of uh smoked paprika again this is optional emily but if you don't like smoked paprika it's fine it's not it's not a big deal um it will be still good and rosemary you know i like rosemary so you know something i wanted to call my daughter rosemary i did tell you that no no um, and, and and but my wife was not uh no she did say no it'd be adasa <laughs> not rosemary adasa is beautiful yeah adasa is beautiful okay. okay so we're going to put a little bit of uh um rosemary inside okay it just gives it like an earthy flavor. Oh, it's just the rosemary just bring like, it's, you feel like you're in the Mediterranean. Mm. Uh, walking along, along the... <laughs> promenade? The yes, la promenade. <laughs> right. Okay, let's put the garlic, uh, let's put this inside. Okay. Oh, so good. Yes. Okay. And uh, let's bring it to uh, a simmer. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want to go ahead show the camera this oh. can you see oh, okay. and this is what we have there you see the cr our creamy our velouté and our yeah the cashew just bring the flavor much uh, the color vi more vibrant okay go ahead now put it in so now we're going to put um uh, let it simmer for about about 10 minutes on low heat and uh and we'll be very careful to wash it and so uh, after this we're going to show you the next the next steps um we're going also to blanch this for 40 seconds uh probably i will blanch it with you when we come back after the lecture okay so uh, uh make sure everything doesn't burn make sure you blend your uh you blend your veggies you have like a uh, some time to do it so we come back to you okay, okay so we're going to blanch this okay okay Emily, you're going to uh put this into uh the boiling water there so the broccoli is a broccoli cheese soup it's not a carrot soup yeah it's not a potato soup so it's a broccoli and cheese soup the carrots and the potatoes to bring the creaminess uh the cheese aspect of it and now we're going to uh uh put the broccoli into the soup okay i want to show you this soup um that emily um made there okay so we can see it there this is okay how beautiful is that guys i hope you make it for those who haven't uh just looking at it right now i hope you do it at home just follow the recipe just like this and you won't be uh, disappointed okay so uh let's go ahead and put the broccoli in i can help you okay let me join it quickly okay do you like uh overcooked broccoli uh -huh. i hate overcooked broccoli so uh, for a few few minutes few seconds it was is plenty so this is what we have there okay so we're going to add uh, can you see Be beautiful and vibrant so okay let's put it in go ahead now and if you uh, make this soup like a day ahead um because you do not have time to make it on the same day what you want to do you don't want to add the broccoli right away okay you want to add the broccoli on the same day you're going to eat it because you don't want the broccoli to overcook into your cheese uh, into your soup okay so i uh, make sure that that happens like this now this is ready this is beautiful and this is a broccoli cheese soup okay so emily we're going to you can put it there just like that okay you want to try it first before we we serve it to our customers our client our customers client <laughs> our guests you know i used to be uh going to my restaurant so for me you're all customers and client okay go ahead okay. this is then uh, let me know what you're saying always make sure you taste your food before you serve it so you won't be stressed huh <laughs> uh, when you serve to your customers or your your guests Okay, so give me the test, everybody. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. It's uh, awesome. It's really good. So what what is, what is good about the cash? You can taste the the, the okay. smoked paprika, the garlic. Yeah, yeah, I can taste it all. Then it's yeah. really velvety. Yes. And creamy. Um, it's like sweet, but it's got a little bit of spice. Awesome. Yeah, Very well. it's really good. And uh, also having a um before we have the garlic the bread everything okay we want to scoop it up into these things there and I, I will garnish it for you just an idea to give you eh, emily so we have your guests coming home so so be nice and pretty use look at that so let's put it into this cup there beautiful 
Let's fail. This is for one person. This is for me. <laughs> one person me off. Okay. So now, and uh, I have something. I have um, a mini. I have some uh, cinnamon pepper. Uh, just to give it a little bit of heat. It's optional, but I like the heat. This is some cinnamon pepper there. See? And so we're going to put a little bit, just a dash of this cinnamon pepper there in the center, just like that. Okay? And uh, uh, sprinkle some smoked paprika there. Just like this. And a little bit of coconut milk. Just, just a dash here and there. Okay? Just like that. And uh, and then you have it, Emily. So we can enjoy this meal. And this is our broccoli cheese soup. And uh, oh, oh, we never eat me. I don't eat a soup without a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, a, a baguette or sourdough bread like this. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just just do this like that. Okay. And we just put it there. Oh man, this is incredible. I want to eat this soup now. <laughs> huh, don't you? Yeah, I think <laughs> a piece of heart. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. It's beautiful. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, uh, well, we basically done. We're going to try it all together. Um, thank you for coming and thank you to allow us to come to your home and uh, cook with us. And uh, I do hope that you have a great experience and I do hope your cashew uh, blender thing work better than us. And uh, I hope you have a great experience. <laughs> and I uh, thank you again, guys. All right. Wasn't that awesome that they made some mistakes so you can feel right at home watching them and knowing that even they make mistakes. So that was fun. So I want to thank, uh, definitely thank Miguel and uh, under, uh, his trained chef, Emily. Thank you also, Nadine, for your health lecture tonight. So don't forget the key points, though. Health is important, physical health. So partake in this, in this fullness. Don't forget the spiritual health. That's very important for complete health and yes. happiness. Yes. Holiness and health make happiness. Yeah. So we're winding down. May 25 is our next presentation. It'll be the last for the season. We'll uh, put out on our Facebook line what we're gonna be doing in our presentation. But uh, I wanna just thank our producers. So we got Daniel Bailey here. He's probably could step into the front of the camera. Uh, Samuel Gervin, come on around to the front so they can see who you are. Um, and then, of course, the rest of us here. All right, so God bless. We're going to say goodbye and sign off for now. We're going to eat a little bit of food. Yes, yeah, so we're going to eat something. We're going to try it all together, and uh, you can uh, just look at us eating. <laughs> and uh, but for now, we say eat better, live well. God bless. See you.